While it's been raining in the Permian Basin over the past couple of days, the UTBB Falcons found themselves in a different situation in Marquette, Michigan this afternoon. They had the luxury of playing at the Superior Dome, the largest wooden dome in the world. Hello everyone, I'm Jaden Hart here with My Falcon Radio. The Falcons took on Northern Michigan, a non-conference Division II opponent. Let's take a look at what happened in that game. Northern Michigan would start things off with the football and DeAndre Caldwell runs right up the middle, scoring a touchdown. They take the lead 7-0. After the Falcon offense stalls, Chris Hode stops Northern Michigan from getting on the board for a second time and holds them to just a field goal. Marquis Simmons busts a huge run at the end of the first quarter, giving the Falcons good field position before Sam Allen drops back and finds Ben Galaviz in the corner of the end zone, making it a 10-7 ball game. Just before halftime, Giles steps back and finds his receiver, Lotis, in the end zone, making it a 17-7 game going into halftime. In the second half now, Allen rolling out right, and he finds Christian Brown down the sideline, and he's tackled at the 8-yard line, and this was when the Falcons really started to have a turn in momentum in this game. Landeros comes out and kicks a field goal for the Falcons after the offense was unable to convert in the red zone, making it a 20-10 game. Now we're in the fourth quarter. Allen swings out to the right, pumps, and finds Mitchell Leonard in the end zone. The Falcons had their extra point attempt block. 20-16 with just five minutes left. Northern Michigan driving in Falcon territory, and Mayon, their running back, who had 224 yards on the ground, gets Northern Michigan out to a 27-16 lead. Fourth and five, the Falcons are fighting for their life. Sam Allen finds Mitchell Leonard, and he picks up the first down, and they still have life. Allen drops back and finds Mitchell Leonard on the sideline, and he fights his way into the end zone making it a five-point game after the Falcons failed to pick up a two-point conversion. Last chance to stop Northern Michigan on third down. Giles drops back, and he finds his receiver, and that would be it for the Falcons. UTBV falls to Northern Michigan, 27-22. Sam Allen, 18 for 36, 261 yards through the air and three touchdowns. And Mitchell Leonard had himself a game, four receptions, 67 yards and two touchdowns. And John O'Kelly picked right where he left off last week. Three sacks, 13 tackles. He now has six sacks on the year, more than he had last season. And for the Wildcats, I did mention Jake Mayon. 35 carries, 222 yards, and a touchdown. The Wildcats rushed for over 300 yards against UTBB on Saturday. Next week, the Falcons will be at home for their first game of the year against Lone Star Conference opponent Midwestern State. That game will be at Ratliff Stadium at 7 o'clock. So it would be a great opportunity for the Falcons to pick up a win against a tough team in the Lone Star Conference. It would also be their first win of the season, and it would be a great opportunity to bounce back after two hard-fought losses. Until next time, I'm Jaden Hart, signing off for My Falcon Radio.